Coach, welcome to your first coffee with Coach Douglas. Thank How's you. That? Thank you. Well, anytime I can have a little cafe <laughs> mocha, it's it's a good thing. Well, let's go. Let's just jump right into it. Absolutely. We have Panhandle State coming in this weekend. Yeah. yeah. Um, big time game here yeah. at Batesville. High. What do you think? What, what's Panhandle State off? Uh, what, what are some of their uh, you know twerks and things that you have to watch yeah. for? You know, their their quarterback's really good. I mean, he is super athletic. Uh, throws the ball pretty well. They use a lot of RPO game, uh, run pass options, and literally is a lot of it is him running as well. I think just a drop back pass a lot of times for them is a run pass option. In, in a lot of ways, he's like Zay, uh, where very athletic with his legs, uh, very dangerous, uh, does a pretty good job of getting the ball to the guys in the right area, and he's got some receivers that'll go up and get it. So, uh, I mean, for us, really, that's the key is, is making sure we stop him. Uh, they're very stingy on defense at times. Uh, they can they can do some things with their blitz game. I know Coach Majeski very well. Uh, he's going to try to light you up at some point on offense, and so uh, we've got to we've got to protect tonight uh, or tomorrow night, and uh, we've got to be able to run the ball effectively. I noticed they have three different quarterbacks that they could run in and out yeah. all the time, yeah. and several uh, stable running backs. Too. Yes. So, I, what what have you guys done, kind of done? to work on trying to stop those guys? You know, it, it really, it's, it's going to be some sort of run game by committee. So I don't know if there's anything necessarily we've done to hone in on just a certain plan for a certain attack. But we know we have a pretty good feeling of what they're going to do run game wise. And so we're really attacking the scheme more than we are the personnel more than anything. Over the, you had a bye week last week. Mm -hmm. Kind of talk about what you guys, you know, healed up and, and corrected sure. and got got ready for this game. Absolutely. You know, I think a lot of people have the perception that when you have a bye week, you're just out there and you're killing them, and it's like preseason camp. And maybe some places you still do that, but I mean, we take the counter philosophy. We really want to rest our guys up. You know, you, you want to take into consideration the accumulation of all the work that they've done through preseason camp. Um, we didn't have a hard camp, but we had a very, uh, very structured, organized, and consistently improvement focused camp. And then went through first three games, and you know, first three games are where you're going to take a lot of the, of the majority of the bumps and bruises. At least in my experience, when you have significant numbers of injuries, they tend to happen in those first three games because you're not really fully game ready until you've played a few of those games. So for us is really about resting our guys. We only practiced twice last week. We practiced on Wednesday and Friday. We only went for 90 minutes each. Uh, we went back to some fundamentals, but particularly on special teams. We weren't very happy coming out of camp where we're at fundamentally with our special teams. Uh, schematically, I felt like we were fine, but we just need a lot more work. And so we spent a lot of work on, we do every day, but we really spent a lot in, in the bye week working on our, the fundamentals of our, our special teams work, whether it's open field blocking, uh, whether it's, it's avoidance on, in the kickoff game, whether it's our punt protection, which we were a little bit concerned about, just some lapses and some, some poor fundamentals there. And I feel like we've cleaned that up, but you know, time will tell for sure. Exactly. Some of the positives that the, the, the team, you know, running back, quarterback, of course, Isaiah, you've got mm -hmm. Jalen at, at running back, you've got a couple of others that can do the job too. Receiving core, I mean, talk about some of those guys and their individual specific roles right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Well, unfortunately, break the news, Jalen Babers is out. Uh, um, we thought, you know, coming off the Wayland game, we went for a whole week thinking it was probably a um, just a light separated shoulder, but he had a lot of swelling and, and, and mobility and, lack, and still had decent strength with it, which they run counter to each other. You wouldn't expect that with a separation to come out to be a pretty severely broken collarbone. And so uh, he had surgery just uh, day before yesterday. Uh, he's out for the season, unfortunately. It's uh, very disappointing, it, really disappointing for him because uh, he spent his entire summer here getting ready uh, to be the number one guy and, and has, had worked his way into that and, and really felt like he's had two really good games. The Wayland game wasn't a great game for him, but uh, I think he was poised to bounce back, at least mentally, and then we get the news about uh, about his collarbone. So really sad and disappointed for him. Mm -hmm. But the good thing is I mean, we've got a pretty good stable of running backs, and we feel really good about Aiden Huntsman coming in and stepping in uh, as the number one uh, starting off, and, and Emerson Price continues to improve and get better mm -hmm. and get a better feel for it. And I tell you what, the, the surprise of, of all, not necessarily surprise, I guess, even last year, 
I felt like he was he was going to make a really nice hand for us was Jacob Ramirez. Uh -huh. um, you know, coming in as a freshman, we really felt like he would be a little bit farther down the road developmental wise, right. but he really came on last year as a freshman and gave us you know a, at least a glimpse of what we thought his future would be. And now, I mean, he's our number two slash number three running back with Emerson, and we feel fully confident to put him in the game. Uh, he has great hands. Uh, he's he's not the fastest guy in the world, but he understands how to run the inside zone for us, which is our primary run play and and does a wonderful job with it so you know we feel Jake is is just going to step in and continue to improve and and really be a nice hand for us at running back and became our number one punter mm -hmm. uh, he is when he gets hold of it he can boom the ball uh, so he does a nice job and his biggest task in the offseason was improve his op time which he has uh, that's kind of saved us a couple of times on punt team because he's able to get the ball off his foot quickly the 72 yard punt against Wayland Baptist. Yeah, that yeah. That was amazing. Yeah, tied a school record. That's crazy. <laughs> um, you know, what is it going to take, you know, down in the trenches where the game's really fought yeah. and hard? What's it going to take for us to, to take advantage of? That? You know, both both sides of for our our team have to play well. Uh, our defensive line has to stop their counter sweep, has to stop their power play. Uh, we need to get a little bit of pressure on him, uh, on the quarterback. Uh, we we've got to push him to our linebackers who are, are ready to to pin down and, and make a tackle there. Mm -hmm. Offensively, we've got to get back to being able to be that nasty, gritty. Uh, you know, more more fight in the dog than size of the dog type of offensive line approach uh, that we somehow lost at the Wayland game. Uh, we did not perform very well on the offensive line uh, two Saturdays ago. We've got to get back to being effective running the ball like we did at MoBAP and at times even against Ottawa. I mean, I felt like we walked really well at times. A lot of times we just got outran against Ottawa. Uh, so if we get that offensive line back for, for Saturday, we're going to be okay. Awesome, awesome. Um, Special teams, you talked a little bit about that. Well, talk about mm -hmm. Kevin Kosakar. Yeah, Kevin, I tell you what, he's a unique kid. You know, most kickers are. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, he's he's got a, a really neat personality about him. He, he works very hard at it. Uh, I get out with, now with those guys uh, about 30 minutes before practice every day and just work with, with Tyler and with Kevin, uh, just working on their stroke and working on their kicks. And really, you know, for me, I don't I try not to get in the way. It's kind of like a golf. I feel like the ultimate golf coach, right. except I don't have to drive them to the, to the tournaments. But... Uh, um, you know, just just give them attaboys and and give them a couple of things that I see, and and then let them do their thing. But you know, Kevin's Kevin's coming along. He's going to continue to strengthen that leg. Uh, this is his first opportunity, really, to be able to play in games. Uh, he transferred in for the University of Arkansas, where he walked on, mm -hmm. and was trying to make the team there, and you know just just couldn't quite break through. Uh, but uh, we we benefited from him just reaching out and uh, and showing interest, and we ran with it, and and we've given him opportunity, and he's taken it bull by the horns, and, and has done a really nice job, and he's he's really doing some things that uh, we weren't sure we could ask him to do that he's been able to pick up on. Uh, he'll continue to improve with his ball placement, which was an issue a couple times uh, at Wayland and at, at MoBAP, but uh, some of that. That's just experience and getting used to what we're asking them to do. Oh, cool. It's yeah. good for a freshman to come on and do something. Absolutely. Like that. Um, I know we talked a little bit about the running quarterback and, and you have to stop him, but what else about Panhandle State concerns you? You know, it's. I think it's going to be the things I don't know. Um, we do know their secondary is experienced and I probably the strength of their defense. I think everybody knows that we've struggled being able to complete big passes against man cover. Uh, so I fully expect that we'll see a lot of man cover just like we do just about every Saturday in this conference. But if we can continue to make the improvements that we've been working on in the passing game, with that, I feel like we've got some guys that can make some plays. Uh, we've got to continue to refine how we're doing that and, and let that show up on Saturdays. But uh, it's a process and it takes time. So, you know, I feel like the secondary, if, if they play really well against us, uh, it'll be a struggle. But if, if our offensive line can play well against their defensive front, I think we'll be able to counter what they may be able to take away in the pass game. So. I feel like that's where the turn is going to be for us. Mm -hmm. And then really on defensive side, if we can contain their quarterback, I don't fully expect to stop him, but if we can contain it and contain their run game and force them to try to make some big plays and, and eliminate as many of those as possible, then we're going to be sitting pretty well defensively as well. Excellent. I know um, I, I looked at some of the scores, and last, last week they put up 52 points against Texas College. Yes. But they've also gotten beaten pretty bad, too, in certain sure. times of the year. So sure. You know, I'm looking at this as it, it, it could be a either way, either way, but this is a very winnable game for the Lions Scots this week. I think since I've been here, OPSU and us are very similar teams. Uh, we have a lot of similar 
types of structures of our program. Uh, Coach Majeski and I have coached against each other, not just here, but at other places as well. He'll even tell the story about how he recruited me out of high school uh, when he was a young coach at Kansas Wesleyan. But um, you know, we've known each other very well, very good friends. Uh, it's going to be a, a nice matchup because of the similarities of the two teams. Excellent. Anything else we can add here on this one? No, I think we're good. I think it's good. All right. Hey, thanks for luck talking to Coach Douglas this morning. This is uh, Coffee with Coach Douglas. <laughs>